Today we're going to start off by creating a new HTML5 canvas. I'm going to start off with a rectangle tool. Set my color to a green to represent some grass. Go over the bottom part of the screen. It's okay if it overlaps again. I'm going to change my stage to be a sky color. So maybe this blue color here. Then I'm going to take an oval and I'm going to make the color black. And I'm going to draw an oval to the sides that it looks like a hole for golf and put it on the right side of my background. I'm going to rename layer one to ground. Lock my layer, create a new one called flag. Then I'm going to take the line tool and I'm going to start in about the middle of the circle and I'm going to go straight up. If the magnet is on, it should be pretty easy to draw a straight line. I'm going to go to Selection Tool, click on my line, and I'm going to change that to the color of my pole. If you want to do white, that's fine. I'm going to change mine to yellow. And then where Stroke is, you're going to want to make that to be a little bit wider so that it actually looks like a pole. Stretch out the bottom to attach to the bottom of your circle. Kind of looks like it overlaps right now, but we'll fix that in a little bit. Then for my flag, I'm going to use the rectangle tool because there's not really a triangle tool. Pick the color that you want to use for your flag. I'm going to use red. Feel free to use whichever color you'd like. And I'm going to change the outline to no color. Then using my selection tool, I'm going to take one of the corners and drag it up to make it a triangle. I'm going to move that back down to about the middle. Select my shape and move it over until it attaches to my pole. If your shape destroys part of your line, that's fine. You might initially think that you need to drag this down, but then you'll realize that it just eats your shape. So I actually want to go back to the line tool. Should still be on the same settings, and we can just recreate that line going from one spot down to the other. And with the magnet, it should snap to those pretty easily. I'm going to lock that layer and create a new layer for the ball. Go to my oval tool, draw a small ball. I'm going to double click to select it. I'm going to get rid of my outline. I'm going to change my fill color to white. Then I'm going to add a motion tween to my ball. Stin that out. Uh, let's say about 75. That's uh, 3.1 seconds. And then maybe around 100 for my bottom two layers. Now what we're going to try and do is have the ball come down and bounce on the ground a couple times and then go into the hole. Assuming you're on the classic interface, if you go in the library, you'll find motion presets. Then under default presets, you can find some of the bounce effects. I'm going to use the medium bounce. And I'm going to apply that to the ball. You'll see that it moves the origin point to the bottom of our object, and then we have bounces down to the end. That's represented by all of these dots here on our layer. Instead of changing any of these middle points, we just want to change the end point. So I can use my selection tool to drag that, or I can go to the last frame and move the ball. Now this line represents the bottom of our ball, and I'm actually going to change that. So double click on the outline color and change this to something that's a little easier to see with your background and your grass color. So I'm going to go with magenta. Click that again to go back to solids instead of outline. And then I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit as it's getting closer to the hole. And then using the arrows, I'm going to have it so that the bounce goes up and over and then into the hole on the way down. Press enter and it looks like this. The only thing is that right here, the ball appears on the grass and not inside the hole at the end. So to fix that, I'm going to lock my ball layer, create one more layer, and that's going to be my top ground layer. And I'm going to have to get that from my ground layer. So I'm going to unlock my ground layer, go to my selection tool, and I'm going to want to select a piece that's about right here. So I want the grass part that's to the right of the pole up to about halfway through the hole so that 
the ball will still be in front of the back part of the hole, but behind the front part of the hole. So I'm going to copy that, relock my ground layer, go back to my top ground, and paste that in place to paste it in the exact same spot it used to be. And then I'm going to click on the black part and delete that because I don't want it to cover the hole. Then we'll see that I actually did not quite enough, so I'm going to move that green part over just a little bit to cover the bottom part of our flag. Now when it runs, it should go directly into the hole. So if we want to rewind that and look here, we'll see that the ball goes up, in, and then behind the green and into the hole. So we'll do File, Save As. In my Web Design Animate folder, I'll name this Golf. Then I'll go to my Publish Settings. In my Website Animate folder, we'll save that, publish it. Then I can close Animate, save the changes, which are just the Publish Settings. Might need to refresh my file list in Dreamweaver. Take my Golf HTML file, drag it to the bottom, save my index. Then I'm going to upload my Animate folder. Then I'll go to the class website. Go to my animate button and check to see if my project works on the website.